guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video in my beginner series. This video is going to be talking all about leasing a horse. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but I 100% always recommend for beginners to lease a horse before they ever buy a horse. That's just always what I tell people if they ask me. I'm going to go into all the details. I'm going to tell you guys why. I'm going to share from my experience. And yeah, I also want to mention my new glasses. I hope you guys like. I am so relieved to have new glasses, you guys. It's not even funny. If you didn't know, my vision is so bad. I I can't function without any kind of visual aid. Whenever you guys don't see me with my glasses on, I'm always wearing my contacts. Yeah, I've been wearing these glasses and I think these are the ones I wore in one of my videos. The prescription on these glasses are actually like three years old and I've been wearing them anyway because my original glasses broke. So I just pulled these out and I could barely see with them on, but it was better than nothing. It was about time I got new glasses. These are actually from firmu.com. When they reached out to me telling me they wanted to send me a pair to try out, I was like, yes! Yes, please. Whenever I work with a company or whenever you guys see products, it's my honest opinion. I don't have to say I like something if I don't like it. Everything I say to you guys is just my 100% honest opinion. When they reached out to me, I was in the process of getting new glasses. I feel like I need to tell you guys the prices so you can understand why I'm so stoked about Fermu.com. Ready? So my quote to get a new pair of glasses, it was like $320. That's not including the frame, okay? Like I could pick a $10 frame, a $20 frame. I didn't even care. But just getting everything I needed in my glasses because my vision is so bad I needed all this stuff it was like $320 I'm gonna tell you how much these glasses were these were 80 bucks and I got like the blue light I don't know if you guys can see it sometimes in certain angles there's like this blue blue light blocking I think it's what it's called because I'm always editing because I'm always working on the computer it also helps protect my eyes from that and I was also able to get the thinner lens all that for 80 bucks and the frames are amazing and now I'm not gonna lie when they told me that it was like an online optical I was like oh Oh gosh. I don't know if you guys know this. I like to try everything on. I rarely shop online. I was like, ooh, okay. I was so nervous about it. But then when I went on the website, they have all these tools to help you choose a pair. They show you how to measure your glasses. They have videos on how to pick a frame for your face shape. They also have option where you can put a picture of yourself into the website and then try on the glasses. It's so cool. What I did when I was picking out my glasses was I actually got my old glasses, measured these, and then kind of tried to use this as a reference for this pair you can actually type in the measurements and they'll show you all the frames that are within the same measurements I'm really happy with the ones that I got I'm so so excited I love them so much and it feels so good to see clearly it feels so good to see oh and they have so many glasses to choose from you guys I always like these classic square ones just basic like this but they have like trendy ones big circle ones cat eye ones they have so many different kinds of frames to choose from I'm gonna show you guys mine this is terrible because now I can't even see so I don't even know what I'm showing it's a tortoise design. I think that's what it's called. It's like that gold and dark brown design. I'll insert a picture of what they look like on the website. And again, I will link these down below for you if you're interested in these. So the glasses come in this little case. It just says Fermo on the top. It also comes with a little lens cleaner, anti-scratch cleaner. And it comes in this little baggie, which is so cute. They also give you this little baggie with a bunch of tools in here if something breaks or if you need to fix something. So they have like this little screwdriver that's like a little keychain, some more screws, extra notes guards all this stuff in case anything happens to your glasses they provide you with this as well which is really really cool so yeah I wanted to share this website with you guys because if you're like me and you need glasses you guys know how expensive it is I literally have told Rob about this I've told Felipe you guys saw him in my camping trip video he's already telling me to send him the website the link and everything because they want to go and buy there because it is so inexpensive and the quality is really good so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys I also have a discount code for you that I will leave down below or I'll write it here on the screen I think it takes like nine 95 off plus free shipping so I'll leave all that stuff down below for you guys thank you to Fermu I love my glasses I'm so excited before I used to wear my contacts all the time because I just couldn't see as well on my glasses so now it feels good to give my eyes a break from my contact lenses and wear these okay I'm sorry, I know I've been blabbering about this forever. Now let's get on into the video. So like I said, today's beginner video is gonna be about leasing a horse. Now I'm gonna speak from my experience because I know there are so many different kinds of leasing options. I'm gonna also link an article down below for you that goes into detail about leasing and all the different kinds of leasing. But like I said, for this video, I'm just gonna share from my experience and my friends' experiences and all that stuff. So if you're a beginner and you wanna get into horses, the way I would tell you to go step-by-step step getting into horses would be number one, 
take lessons find a barn that lets you take lessons maybe take lessons for a couple months maybe a year once you feel very very comfortable the next step would be to lease a horse I'm gonna talk a little bit about what the difference is between owning a horse and leasing a horse now when it comes to leasing a horse you don't own the horse you pay someone else in order to ride the horse but usually the responsibility of the horse is the owners I leased crystal before I ever owned her I also leased two other horses before her and the way that my lease worked was I would pay a monthly amount and I got to ride the horse whenever I wanted so I didn't pay for food for grain for nothing I just paid the owner monthly to lease the horse and ride them whenever I want now sometimes it might not be whenever you want it just depends on the agreement that you've made with the owner of the horse sometimes it'd be three times a week maybe the owner still wants to ride so it could be Tuesdays and Thursdays the owner rides Monday Wednesday and Friday I ride like stuff like that leasing is very flexible it literally just comes down to what your agreement is with the person you're leasing from you guys can work it out change some things or adjust it so that it works well for you guys I didn't take the horse anywhere else I would just go to that barn and ride the horse and groom the horse and all that stuff but it stayed over there with the owner sometimes they'll even allow you to take the horse off property for shows you know if you have a trainer and you guys are going to a show depending on your leasing agreement they might allow you to take your lease horse to a show so that's the kind of leasing I did with Crystal that's the kind of leasing I did with the other two horses I leased Hershey and Pancho back in the day <laughs> I miss Hershey and Poncho. I've noticed that there's like another name for this as well I think it's called part board or something like that But like I said, I'm talking from my experience. That's what it was called for me It was just leasing There's an also something called an off-site lease where you take the horse and maybe you have a trainer So you can take that horse and board it at your trainer's barn so you can continue lessons and all that stuff You don't own the horse But the person allows you to take that horse and maybe if you live at home with some land You can bring the horse to your house or bring the horse to a boarding facility anything like that and again You just work that out with the owner of the horse you guys come up with an amount and you can also pick the level of horse you want maybe you want to lease a really advanced horse because you want to go to shows and show in higher level so you want to try that out first before owning a horse of that level you can lease a beginner horse you can lease an intermediate horse you can lease a jumper you can lease a barrel horse you can lease a rainer literally you get to choose what you want to do obviously maybe a top level jumper is going to be more expensive to lease a 1d barrel horse is going to be a little bit more expensive to lease it all just depends now the other kind of leasing is a free lease and that's actually what my friend Sabrina is doing a free lease is when the owner allows you to take the horse and you pay for everything but you don't have to pay the owner so for example you buy the horse's food you pay for the board trimming everything that goes into taking care of a horse as if you owned it except you don't have to pay a fee to the owner and I feel like that is as close as you can get to the experience of owning a horse without having that responsibility of owning it not gonna lie free leases are a little hard to find and usually work better if you have your own property and can keep the horse at your place. It would be a little bit more expensive if you have to pay to board it somewhere. However, it might be worth it for you depending on how long the lease is because the horse will basically be yours without having to pay that large upfront cost like you would if you were buying a horse. So you can get an idea of how much it's going to cost when you actually own a horse and you can make an educated decision if that's something that you're willing to commit to or not. This way it's easier because you can always give the horse back. For example, that works very well for someone who maybe just had a surgery and they can't go out outside and feed the horse every day they can't go outside and clean the stall every day they can't ride or do anything with the horse maybe right now they're tight on cash and they can't afford to be buying food and grain and all this stuff um, and the horse is just sitting so something that will benefit them is okay maybe I'll find a leaser who'd be willing to do a free lease so now the leaser comes in and takes that weight off of the owner's shoulders you're paying for the grain you're paying for the hay you're paying for board farrier fees everything and in return the owner doesn't have to worry about all that stuff and you're not paying the owner you're just paying to take care of the horse you don't have to pay anything to the owner so that's kind of like a free lease or like an off property lease and that's kind of why it benefits the owner and why it would benefit you because maybe you're just here for the summer right and you have to go back to school but you still want to show you still need a horse you still want to ride but you don't want to buy a horse and then sell it when summer is over so that would work really well for you to take this horse and then give it back at the end of summer so that's kind of like an example of what an off-site lease would look like so yeah those are the different kinds of leases that I'm familiar with and that I've experienced my friends do or that I've done and usually the way you find a lease horse is sometimes your trainer they'll have horses available for lease like I said different Facebook groups word of mouth it's not that hard to find a lease horse depending on your area for example in Facebook groups if you guys watched my previous beginner video I talked about Facebook groups and how easy it is to find horses or boarding facilities or all that stuff on Facebook horses for lease in Florida horses for lease in California just horse groups it doesn't have to be horses for lease even on horse sale groups people will post 
post leasing ads so you just gotta look usually when someone posts their horse for lease on Facebook they show exactly what they are willing to provide and the price and all that stuff so some people will say let's say I'm the owner of the horse I'll be like okay I'm gonna buy the food the grain I'm gonna buy the hay I'm gonna pay for the board all I ask is 200 a month and you can come to the barn whenever you want to ride the horse do whatever you want with the horse back to what I said in the beginning sometimes owning a horse is not what you think it is so I feel like leasing gives you that opportunity to experience what owning a horse is like and if you could prevent a horse from being sold a million times throughout its life by preparing yourself and knowing what to expect it helps give a horse a better chance at a forever home and leasing is a good way of doing that at the end of all that if you still feel like you want a horse you're ready you're confident enough you've made your decision then I feel like okay you're ready to buy your first horse that's the order in which I feel like everyone should get into horses you start off with your lessons once you feel like you're ready you know how to ride you've got everything down you move on to leasing a horse at someone else's property like I said paying the owner monthly and you just come whenever you want and ride and groom and all that stuff after that you can graduate to maybe doing an off-site lease or a free lease and you can take the horse maybe to your trainer's barn you get to experience what it's like paying for the grain for the hay paying for the farrier literally you get the full experience of owning a horse but the horse still belongs to someone else so maybe you realize you're not ready for a horse maybe you realize you don't have the funds for a horse yet so all you got to do is just give the horse back if you want more details on that I will leave an article I found on Google down below if you want to just look into it some more hopefully I covered everything I really hope this video is helpful for you guys I feel like every video I'm always like thinking if I forgot something I need to start writing things down more often I know sometimes it can seem overwhelming but just dip your toes in the water go on Facebook maybe you're right now you're not ready to lease a horse but just go on Facebook and always check to see what people are posting and you can get an idea of the kind of leasing options people are providing you know you can start getting familiar with leasing ads and what owners are looking for all that stuff again I hope this video was helpful for you guys I hope you enjoy and I answered some of your questions I've decided to number my beginner series in order so maybe it's a little bit easier to go in order if you're looking into buying a horse that's it don't forget I left you a firmu coupon code down below if you are interested in the glasses so hopefully that will help you out too if you're in the market for glasses and you can't spend 300 and something dollars <laughs> so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching again I hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up the sun is just playing games with me today <laughs> also if you're new to my channel hi my name is Cindy Valentina please subscribe all you gotta do is just click that red subscribe button down below if I didn't answer your question in this video please definitely leave it down below I'll try to respond to it or maybe someone else watching this video has the answer for you so they can help you out too and yeah okay I'll see you guys in my next video bye